Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we have something cool. Something I believe was added to the game for the fact of so many people not being able to do the raid or even attempt the raid or even complete a single boss in the raid. What I will guide you through today is uh, something that allows you to get that third seed of light without entering the last wish raid. It is simple and it is easy people. But before we do that guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out and I do appreciate that support. Also if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Petra this week has bounties which she brings week in week out. This bounty seen on screen now is the one you want to pay attention to, the gateway between worlds. This bounty requires you to basically complete blind well activities upon the Dreaming City. This requires either 10 tier 1s to complete, 5 tier 2s to complete, or 3 tier 3s with 1 tier 1 to complete. Once you have done this, cash in the bounty and this gives you the offering to the Oracle bounty where you have to head to the observatory within the Dreaming City to present the offering. What then happens is a teleporter appears which you need to enter. Once you enter this place you actually speak with the Queen Mara Soth. It's done. The curse is broken. Oh, it thinks itself so wise. We all played right into her hands beginning with my beloved baby brother. There are those who are more dangerous dead than alive, and there are those who win when we believe they've lost. You enter the infinite light bearer. This will all happen again and again and again. You bear witness to the fate of my people. Then fight with us. Oh, but I do. Petrovenge is my wrath. Once you've heard what she says, she spawns a chest. You open that chest and people you will receive that third seed of light without entering the raid. Good cool Bungie, good cool indeed. And guys, that is it. That is the end of the video. Go get that seed of light, you can now apply it and work on that third subclass without doing the raid. Pretty damn cool. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, turn on the notifications by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Stay.